Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Both restaurants closed and Hoosiers are stuck inside. They are cooking more at home, and that's having a huge impact on the state's poultry market. Indiana, home to some of the largest egg producers in the United States, including MPS Egg Farms, a family-owned operation in North Manchester. The company saw sales jump 100% during the first week of the pandemic. MPS Vice President of Business Development Sam Krause says that uh, although the run on eggs has calmed, sales remain up at least 30% over last year and demand is taxing the system. I would describe it that the entire supply chain is pretty stressed. Uh, everything from cartons and materials, uh, eggs, our, our plants, everything is just working to the maximum to keep the shelves full. MPS supplies 100% uh, of its eggs to retailers, including Kroger. Well, a Northwest Indiana steel manufacturer and a Westfield-based steel supplier have announced layoffs as a result of the pandemic. Arcelor Middle USA said it is placing 200 employees in East Chicago on temporary unpaid furlough. Meantime, Westfield Steel is also reducing its workforce. The steel industry supplier says it's temporarily laying off about 40 workers at operations in Westfield and Terre Haute. Well, with social distancing the new normal and people stuck inside looking for something to do, the puzzle industry has seen a huge uptick in sales. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond has more from one of the largest puzzle manufacturers in the country right here in Indiana. With non-essential businesses shutting down across the state, package right in Tipton, Indiana was no exception. But with the surge of people staying home, puzzles have suddenly become a hot ticket item, which presented a unique opportunity for package right vice president Pat Kulsejak. When the governor of Indiana decided that it was time for businesses in Indiana to close on March 24th, we immediately closed our facility. We immediately all wanted to just get home to our families. Interesting enough, as time went on, we were getting a huge demand for our manufacturing of games and puzzles. It didn't take long for the market to run out. As a result, we got our staff together and, and started talking through some of the issues. I proposed uh, a letter to um, the governor's office and I asked for permission to open up under certain restrictions and certain circumstances. I was granted permission. And since opening back up for business, demand for puzzles has skyrocketed with customer demand up 50% in just the last two weeks. And it doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. In fact, Kulsejak says he's looking to hire another 60 plus people to help with the workload. During this time of the year, we would have 130 to 140 people working. We're averaging right in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 across two ships. We employ locals. 90% of the people that work in this facility drive less than 25 miles to get to work. We're averaging right in the neighborhood of 60 to 70 across two ships. So I have a need for another 60 people. If every one of my employees decided tomorrow that they were going to come back with the demand of the puzzle right now, I could use another 50 people. And during this time of uncertainty, Kulsejak says providing families with a fun distraction is what gives he and his team the most satisfaction. It, 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 it's wonderful. I mean, we, we, we absolutely love what we do here. And we love what we do because of who we're impacting. And when people um, are working our puzzles, and we know that we're the ones, and when we go to the websites and we see the, the, the great um, feedback that we get from the puzzlers out there, it just drives you. It, it drives you to want to do more. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.